Hello everyone, once again welcome to a small terrible YouTube channel. So in this video lesson, we're going to focus on subtracting polynomials. Alright, so before we proceed to the lesson proper, let's first refresh your mind regarding the minion win and the subject of the dedicates. So the minion win is the one in the topmost, then the subtrahend, then the difference. Alright. So like adding polynomials, subtracting polynomials seems hard at first, but it is also easy if you only master the rules in adding polynomials. And also, if you also master the rule in subtracting integers. So let us now refresh your mind about the rules in subtracting integers. So this is what we have learned in the first quarter. To subtract integers, change the sign of the subtrahend and add it to the minuend. Or for us to easily remember it, just think of CCC or copy change change. So, copy the menu in, change the minus sign to plus sign, change the sign of the subtrahend. After the CCC, we need to apply the rules in adding integers, which are the following. So, same sign, kapag same ang sign ng dalawang um, integers na na-add niyo. So, you are just going to copy the common sign, then just add the integers. Kapag different signs naman, yung isa is negative, yung isa is positive, you are going to get the difference, no? Then, copy the sign of the greater number. So, the steps in finding... The difference of polynomials are combination of rules in subtracting integers and adding uh, polynomials. So, these are the following. So, first is arrange the steps in ascending or descending order. Actually, you may skip this if it's already arranged. Then, second step is to copy the minimum or the first polynomial. So, the keyword here or the the name is C. I mean, the letter is C for step 2. means copy. Then, we also have another C which is change minus sign into plus sign. Then, another C, the third C is change the signs of each term of the subtrahend or each term of the second polynomial. If it is negative, change it to positive. If it is positive, change it to negative. Or simply write the opposite signs of each term of the subject. Don't you worry, we will have a lot of examples in the succeeding slides. So while doing the copy, change, change, align already the similar terms. Okay, recall what do we mean by similar terms? Yung kanilang literal coefficients. Pati yung exponent ay the same if you do it vertically. Combine similar terms by finding the sum of their numerical coefficients. So, in, in combining, follow the rules in adding integers and copy the same literal coefficients. So, let's have right away example number 1. So, we have here 10s plus 9 minus 2s minus 4. So, in the given example, 10s plus 9 is our minuend. The subtrend is the 2s minus, 1, minus 4. So, since it is arranged already, we may skip step 1. So, we are going to copy right away the minuends. Okay? Can you still recall step 2, the CCC? So, first C is copy the minuend. So, what is our minuend? The 10s plus 9. Next is change the minus sign into plus sign. Okay, take note. It's minus, right? Change it to plus sign. And change all the signs of the subtrahend. Okay? Change 2s. 
aking take note, 2s, nagiging negative 2s. Yung negative 4 here, nagiging plus 4. So, we're going to change minus into plus and change plus to minus. Then, after that, combine similar terms by following the rules in adding polynomials. Okay, so after we change the side of the subtrahend, you may now combine. Use the rules in adding polynomials. So this time, take note, you are just going to combine similar terms. Hindi pwedeng 10s i-combine mo sa 4, hindi yan pwede. Si 10s plus 4 is equal to 10s plus 4 pa rin kasi hindi sila pa combine. So dapat 10s plus negative 2s. So, yung S na pariho kasi silang, pariho pa rin, similar term kasi. So, pariho yung letters, pati yung exponent nila. So, considered na exponent 1 yan. So, just copy the common literal coefficient. Then, that take ng 10 and 2 here, they have different signs. So, ano yung rule in adding polynomial or in adding integers kapag different sign, you're going to copy the sign of the greater number then get the difference of the two numbers. So, the difference between 10 and 2 is 8. The sign of the greater number is positive. Just, since it is at the beginning, just do not write the plus. Then here, 9 and 4 is 13. So, therefore, the difference is 8s plus 13. So, this is now the final answer. This is now the final answer, 8s plus 13. Let's have the second example. So, we have here. Okay, here in example 2, you are going to subtract 7b squared minus 4b plus 5 from 2b plus 8 minus 10b squared. So, take note, yung example niya is... Subtract from, that means itong 2b plus 8 minus 10b squared should be the minuin. This should be the minuin. And this should be the subtrahend. So it is very important to spot which is the minuin and which is the subtrahend. So you are going to arrange and, okay, arrange in descending order or in ascending order. It depends. Then, just copy the minuin, CCC, no? Then, the minuin is just negative 10b squared plus 2b plus 8. Kapag i-arrange re itong 2b plus 8, mauna yung negative 10b squared plus 2b plus 8. Huwag kayong ma-confuse dyan. Nandiyan pa rin si minuin, na-rearrange lang siya. Then, Minus 7b squared minus 4b plus 5. Arrange na kasi ito. Pagkatapos ng copy the minuin, just copy the minuin, change the minus sign, minus to plus, then change the signs of the terms in the subtrahend. So, itong neg positive 7b squared magiging negative 7b squared. Itong negative 4b magiging plus 4b. Itong plus 5 magiging minus 5. Pagkatapos niyan, copy the common literal coefficient, which is b squared. Then, follow this time the rule in adding integers. You are adding same sign. Pareho silang negative. So, copy the common sign, then add diretso. Ito, 4 plus 2, 6. Then, copy the common literal coefficient or common letter nila. Then, ito, 8 and 5. Different sign sila. So, get the difference. The difference between 8 and 5 is 3. Then, copy the sign of the greater number, which is plus. So, therefore, the answer for example 2 is negative 17 b squared plus 6b plus 3. Always remember, in subtracting polynomials, you are going to combine your knowledge in adding polynomials plus in your CCC here. Let's try Example number 3. Find the difference of, so this one, find the difference of, so kapag ganito yung given, immediately yung naunang binigay is the minuin followed by the subtrahend. So, as you can see, as you can notice, it's already arranged. So, arranged alphabetically already. 
So all we have to do is we are going to copy the menu in. Okay, copy the menu in. So the menu is equal 7s times 40 plus u minus 6. Bakit parang meron na? Pero medyo may blank siya kasi yung letter, yung u is understood to have a word to beside me. So, copy the menu in. 7s minus 40 plus u minus 6. Then, itong minus dito, i-change to plus. Itong 5s magiging minus 5s. Itong minus 4 yung magiging plus 4 u. Itong plus 1 yung magiging minus 4 u. Pagkatapos sa changing the the terms of the sign, or changing the sign of the subtrahen and changing minus to plus, you are now ready to combine the similar terms by following again the rules in adding polynomials. So, bago kayo pumunta dito sa subtracting polynomials, i-master nyo muna yung adding polynomials para hindi na kayo mahihirapan pa. Actually, hindi naman ito mahirap. So, 7s at saka negative 5s. Again, copy the common letter which is s. The, then, 7 and negative 5 different signs sila. Kaya, get the difference. The difference between 7 and 5 is 2. The sign of the greater number is positive. So, nasa unahan siya. Nasa beginning siya na term. So, never write na lang the plus. Kapag negative, kailangan talagang i-write yung negative. Kapag plus, hindi na. Understood na na plus yan kapag walang negative. Dito, negative 40. Wala kasing T dito na term sa subtrahen. Kaya, nilive as blank dito. Just bring down na the minus 40. Kup kupiyahin lang to. Then, the plus. Understood eh, may, na merong 1 dito. So, 1 plus 4, that's 5. Copy the U. Then, the 6 and 1, pareho sila ng sign. So, just add 7, copy the common sign. So, the difference, therefore, in example number 3 is 2s minus 40 plus 5u minus 7. That is the answer in example number 3. Now, it's your turn to answer this. So, again, always remember to first Master adding polynomials before proceeding to subtracting polynomials because, as we all know, subtraction is the reverse operation of addition. That's why, in subtracting polynomials, it is important that you master how to add polynomials because if you don't, this lesson will, will be very hard for you. So, always remember, the steps in finding the difference of polynomials are combination of rules in subtracting integers and adding polynomials. So, master first adding polynomials or yes, adding polynomials before proceeding here in subtracting polynomials. So, I can, I hope you learned something if you have any question. Don't forget to comment down below and please don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, hit the like there below para may improve yung algorithm ng pin dito sa YouTube. So thank you so much and God bless us all.